Hello, everybody, and welcome to the TeacherCast Educational Network. My name is Jeff Bradbury, and welcome back to our series on Microsoft Teams. This is video number seven. We've been going through the entire library of how Microsoft Teams can be used in your classroom. We have Jenny and Salee with us as usual. Jenny and Salee, welcome back to the program. How are you today? We're great. Thanks, Jeff. It is so nice to have you guys here. We've been getting a ton of amazing feedback on our series, and we want to say thank you guys to everybody out there who has taken time to hit that subscribe button on the bottom of this video box and hit that bell, like what we're doing here. We would love to hear from you guys. Last week in our video, we talked all about the accessibility features. Jenny, why is it so important that we have a program like Microsoft Teams that is deeply enriched in accessibility features? Well, it's extremely important, Jeff, because our students all learn differently and we need to provide them opportunities and tools that they can use that are going to meet them where they are and help them be successful. And Celine, why is it important that we have a magical broom that has a hat and a little witch's thing and just flies around with us every single where that we go? Why is it important to have one of those on our side? You know, it's really important that that just takes care of everything for us. No matter what happens, she comes out and just makes it all great. Now, in today's show, we're talking all about organization, which has got to be one of the most important features of Microsoft Teams. Jenny, why is it important that we know how to first use Microsoft Teams to keep ourselves digitally organized? I just love the organization that Teams offers and all the Microsoft tools because we have really made a difference in helping our teachers and ourselves move from paper to digital. And it just makes our life so much simpler and easy to be able to um, navigate in the things that we do every day. Now, I would imagine once you're organized, it makes things easier to work with your students and to give out assignments and disseminate a whole mess of information. Why is this important? Well, because um, you can be more efficient and you can be more productive. And I think that is a great role model for your students as well. So they can see you being organized and then you can also transfer that knowledge and that skill to your students. So let's talk a little bit about some of the tools that we have in Microsoft Teams. To stay organized and disseminate information, teachers can use the Files tab to share and create files within the team. Files are channel specific, so you can stay organized by creating and sharing files within specific channels. OneNote is also built into Teams. Your notebook will have a collaboration space, a content library, and even personal student sections. When creating channels, each channel automatically receives a OneNote section at the top menu, and it is automatically added to the collaboration space in your class notebook. This is great for teachers. They can easily use OneNote to quickly distribute work to students individually or use the collaboration space sections to quickly add information to the needed channels. You know, it is such a great thing to see how Microsoft Teams and OneNote collaborate. But I got to ask, are there other tools out there that work well with Microsoft Teams? Oh, my goodness. Yes. And Teams makes it so easy to incorporate those applications right in. Adding outside applications helps teachers save time, stay organized, and not have to recreate material they already have created in another application. In addition to the conversation, OneNote, and Files tab, you can use this menu to help you share content from your favorite services in a channel. They can connect you to Microsoft services like Excel or PowerPoint and other services like Flipgrid, Quizlet, and Nearpod, or even a website of your choice. You can customize the tabs for each of your channels. Select the channel you want to customize. To add applications, click the plus button on the top menu. Select the application you would like to add to that channel's menu tabs. These tools offer teachers customization with Teams. So teachers, when creating your channels, think about how you want to organize your class based on the content you are teaching, your grouping strategies, and how you want to disseminate information. Hopefully we've given you a few different ways to get organized with Teams. You know, clearly when we're looking at keeping things managed and organized, and also when we bring in some of the collaboration features, Microsoft Teams is simply the app that you need to have in your classroom. Jenny and Celine, where can we go to learn more information about Microsoft Teams? 
Sure. A great place to go is education.microsoft.com. It's a great place to find tutorials and classes and really dig into what Teams has for you. And of course, if you're watching this, you might be interested in taking a next step further in your professional development. What else is available for educators worldwide over at the education website? Well, um, coming up soon on April 15th, you can actually self-nominate to become an MIE expert. So we highly encourage everyone to go to education.microsoft.com and go ahead and become an expert and join the community. It's life changing. And of course, we want to remind you guys, check out everything over at education.microsoft.com. You can sign up to be an MIE. You can take online courses. You can meet other Microsoft Innovative Educators. And coming up soon, you can learn all about the Hackathon and the Skypeathon coming up this year. So lots of great stuff. If you're looking for more information on this video series, don't forget to subscribe to us. Click on that bell. You guys will be notified of other great Microsoft Teams videos that are coming up. And everything here is going to be archived over on TeacherCast at teachercast.net slash Microsoft EDU. Jenny and Celine, where can we find out some of the great things that you guys are doing online? Check out our new blog. You can find us at thegenaleeshow.com. That's J-E-N-A-L-L-E-E. -E. And of course, we want to say thank you guys for being a part of this and all of our Microsoft Teams videos. So on behalf of Jenny, Celine, and the entire TeacherCast Educational Network, my name is Jeff Bradbury, reminding you to keep up the great work in your classrooms and continue sharing your passions with your students.